Three years behind bars in Russia with no end in sight. Tonight, Paul Whelan's family is speaking out as their beloved son and brother sits in prison half a world away. It was December 28, 2018, when Paul Whelan was arrested in Moscow. And he says he was there to attend a friend's wedding. The Russian government says he was there as a U.S. spy. Now, exactly three years later, little has changed. Megan Wood spoke to Paul's brother David today. And Megan, he's really surprised that this has lasted so long. Yeah, David tells me that today and hitting that three year mark is very difficult. His family was basing this on similar situations where people got out within weeks and they thought that that was going to be the same for Paul that, you know, after more than a year that he was going to be home. But now it's been three years. It's really hard to hit a three year mark and know that three Christmases, three birthdays, all of this time has gone past. But these last three years haven't been spent sitting and waiting. Paul and David's sister Elizabeth continues to go to D.C. and meet virtually with senators, representatives, the Department of Justice and other agencies that can help with Paul's case. And the resolutions that came through in the House and the Senate uh, on his behalf uh, were because of her lobbying. Um, I've continued to work with media like you to try and make sure that people are aware that there are American citizens and not just Paul, dozens and dozens of American citizens being held by foreign nations uh, in a sense of hostage diplomacy, trying to get some sort of concession from the United States in return for sending back their citizens. That work behind the scenes is what David believes is keeping Paul in the forefront. I think in year three, we have seen a lot more engagement on behalf of the U.S. administration. Since Bi uh, President Biden took office, uh, we've seen a lot more public announcements and discussions about Paul's case. The Whelan family's goal is and always has been to bring Paul home. And until that happens, they're making sure he's not forgotten. He's still in a Russian labor camp. Uh, and it's, I think it's very difficult for people to comprehend that someone can be in this position for so long and that the U.S. government isn't able to impact the, uh, the case. And David says his family is very grateful for all the support Paul has received over the years, including people still giving to their GoFundMe. Priya, Jason. And Megan, did David say anything about how Paul is feeling about hitting this three year mark? Yeah, he said that Paul talks to their parents uh, very often, but it's still very hard for him to understand what's taking so long and all the work that's going into uh, getting him back home. Yeah, that's right. It must be just so frustrating. All right. Thank you, Megan.